Hey guys, it's me again, and I wanted to show you guys what I am using throughout the week. So, you know, I have my bi weekly beat. I do that on Snapchat, but I wanted to do like an everyday, I wanted to start doing maybe an everyday makeup drawer to kind of like rotate my things. And so, um, I wanted to show you guys, let me turn this lamp off. Let me show you guys what I will be using throughout the month. I'm not going to be doing bi-weekly beat. I am going to be using these for a month. So these will be once a month type of videos. Just so you see what I'm using. What's new that I want to bring into my collection. And then things that I'm going to be trying out. So we're going to start right over here. We're going to start with the good stuff, which are palettes. Of course, you guys see all of my beauty blenders back here. I like to keep these in here because... And I went to an Ipsy event, so it just has my name on it. Uh, and Ipsy. But I use this to actually collect and put my beauty blenders. And I also have a new powder that I'm using. This is the Maybelline. Y'all probably saw this in a vlog i do want to get the new powder and compare it to this one this one is an older one and this is in the shade i have the shade medium number two i think it only comes in like two or three shades uh so that's what's in the back let me finish showing y'all what's in the back this is a perfume it's a rollerball this is um uh, by dolce and gabbana called rose the one it's just uh an oil ball zimarin argon oil I have this is an oil serum from smooth naturals this one is because the packaging is older so I have that this is for my dry skin this is a Mary Kay emollient extra emollient night cream this one if you have extra dry skin I need to do a review on this I have not and it's amazing so I'm gonna put those there I have some pigments back here this is from Bella Pierre this is like their pigment stack then I have my ColourPop palettes back here I want to get some more of these but this is my Amanda Steele I do have a review on not a review I have a makeup tutorial actually it's trying new products first impressions so I use that and then I also have the one from this is the Ipsy ColourPop one. This is, was a limited edition because I got this from Gem Beauty. But look, you guys, I pulled this out and made a palette. So eight more shadows. Is it eight more? I think 10 shadows can be in here. So I'm, I'm actually going to, I'm going to add some more to these because they're only $5. And I have some palettes, the Mariah Carey. This is the only way that I really like grab and pull stuff. So... This is the Comfort Zone palette. I wanted to have some drugstore and some high-end stuff in here. Round. These are the two studio makeup uh, palettes. One is called Cool Me Down and the other one is Warm Me Up. I have really been using the Warm Me Up, which is this one right here. So, really like that one. And these I got from BoxyCharm. These are like the best palettes I've ever gotten from BoxyCharm. So, and then this one is called Cool Me Down. The other one I really like because it has that matte black in it and has some really good transition shades. So, that's good for every day. So, I talked about these two in my May favorites, but I'm still going to use these. I have been using these already for a month, but I want to get some more use out of them. The peanut butter, the sugar pop, and the sweet peach. And the reason why I put these on because in here is because these to me are more like spring and summer so I'm, I'm probably gonna keep these in here all summer so I can get some good use out of these and I don't know if you ever saw how they look but that's the peanut butter y'all know how the sweet peach looks that's the sugar pop I really like this one because it has pops of colors that are wearable for me and then that's the sweet peach and I have two tutorials on this on my channel these I don't but these two were limited edition. This is permanent to the line. So I'm going to keep these over here. This one that I am. Oh, 
This one I'm, I pulled into like a pan that palette kind of thing that I'm doing. And this is the Vanity Palette by Wet n Wild. This is my favorite palette. Now you can't get this on the website or in the store, but you can get this six eyeshadow palette from Amazon, I believe. So it kind of like, this is like creme brulee, but these have a made, this is one half matte and then these are the shimmer. And this is an amazing palette, you guys. I um, kid you not, this is an amazing everyday palette. So because it's limited edition, I wanted to pan this one and I actually wanna pan this one. This is the iStudio. This is one of my favorite from the drugstore. This one is all matte and this is uh, called Nude Romance by Maybelline. I love these quads. The only thing about the quads, these break so easily. So I'm very surprised. I've had this one for years, but I'm very surprised that I've kept this one this long. But as you can tell, it has some really good, it has really good pigmentation. And it's just, I love it. Now, this is called God Created and God Created the Woman. I love this palette. Now this was limited edition to NARS. These are the only NARS this is the only NARS palette that I have but I do have some single shadows from them so I really do love this and the main reason why I got it was because of this shade right here which I haven't I've barely touched in here the other ones as you can tell are well loved but this is Galapagos that's the main reason why I got this is because it was included so I really like this this is a great like every night smoky you can do a nice day look but to me this is a perfect night palette and the pigmentation is amazing this reminds me of Himalaya by NARS but the pigmentation especially on the matte and the shimmer in this one is outstanding this is a blush that I really want to get some use out of this is Taj Mahal by NARS I love their blushes this is one of the Urban Decay Afterglow this is in the shade Indecent y'all it kind of broke on me too but I've hit pan on that is is this elf yeah no this is gilded honey by Laura Geller I wanted to have a gold highlight in here this one I love I actually found I cannot find their bronzers anywhere but I've gotten a this is a pressed powder and golden medium this one looks so good on my skin and that's by uh, cover girl this is from the queen collection i really do enjoy this i use this as my bronzer now in here i wanted to use this i got this for a dollar a dollar you guys so this one has some pots of color so i wanted to use this in conjunction to one of some of my palettes over here and i want to do a cover girl queen collection like a woman of color tutorial i know is not black history month um, but why should I have to wait? This one is a MAC. This is a beauty powder in called Pearl Shine. This is a great setting powder that has some luminosity. When I, it has a peach like tint to it. It's really pretty, pretty. It's called a beauty powder. So basically it's multi-purpose. You can use it on your face. You can use it as a highlight. You can use it as a blush topper. I really like that. And I think, I want to say this is limited edition, but it was on sale a while ago but they call it a beauty powder. This is from Sonia Kashuk. This is one of my favorite palettes from her, or this is the Chic Luminosity Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. Um, I talked about this last year and the pigmentation on here is crazy. Another product I hit pan on, the NYX, this is the HD Finishing Powder. I really do enjoy this. So as you can tell, and it's in the shade Banana. So I use that to set under my eyes. This is from Laura Geller. This is the Balance and Brighten Foundation in Tan. And I really do enjoy that. I need to try these setting powders. I've, been, I've tried it once, but these are the Makeup Forever. These are the Ultra HD Micro Finish Finishing Press Powders. So there's one in Translucent, one and uh oh Ooh. oh one a banana because i was doing it the wrong way and one in like a peach so this one if you're 
uh, tan, a deep, I could use this all over my face or do some color correction kind of like under my eyes. I have a Tarte blush in here. This is in the shade Savored. I really do enjoy this because this one has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's deep. This is to me kind of like year round. It looks really pretty. I don't know if you could see that. Let me do it again. It looks better on the cheek, I promise. <laughs> So I wanted to pull in a tart. I do have, do I have any drugstore blushes in here? No, I need to pull a drugstore because I like to have the mix. But this is in, how deep is the I love? This is so, so pretty. I really do like that one. And I also have this one. These are, by the way, the Too Faced Love Flush. I love this one. This is called I Will Always Love You. This is Lorac. I've never used this one. This is in the shade Prism. This is one of their blushes. And I want to try this one. This one is very, very light. It's a bit kind of, oh, I'm out of the frame. So pretty. I feel like this is like a romantic shade. It kind of reminds me, it's a little bit lighter than MAC Peaches, but I wanted to try it. Something else I've hit pan on is this one. Y'all, so that is the crystal powder. I need to finish this. I'm telling you, I got project pan going on. I got so that, but it's not the only way I'm going to use it if it's right here. So y'all, I've never, I've talked about this, I think maybe in a favorites, but this is one of my favorites. This is the baked bronzer by Ulta. The top kind of broke, but this dome used to be a lot. I've used a lot of this product and it still looks like I haven't hit a dent in here. But, oh my goodness, if I don't want to blush, and this is great in the spring and summer because I can just dust this on my cheeks. And if I want to be bronze goddess, golden goddess, that's what I put on. This is by Black Opal. It is called the Color Fusion Powder. And it's the Mosaic Press Powder, but I love using this as a bronzer. Or you can even use this as a transition shade, but it, it kind of like dips into everything. So a lot of skin tones can use that different way. This one I marked because like I said, I have a project pan going on too. And I'm almost done with this loose powder. This is the Mary Kay Translucent Powder and I've marked it. This is the It, it Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Pores. Now let me tell you about HD Micro Powders. These are good for the face. I've heard this one is not good for the eyes, but I'm going to dust it lightly. These are not good for baking though. Not even the, to me, not even the Maker Forever one. This is from Gorgeous Cos Cosmetics. It's an Australian cosmetic brand. And this is actually uh, an eyeshadow, but I'm also gonna use it as a blush. And it's in the shade Goldfish. I got this from a sale, but the color is so pretty and it's so pigmented. Y'all see that? So pretty. It has a gold shift to it, but it's so pretty. Okay. I need to finish up this. This is the Embryo Lease Cream Concentrate. I want to get through this for the year. So I like it because it's a like a tube of toothpaste. It kind of lets you know how far to go. I have my... Uh, Moisture blur. Almost done with that. I marked it. So, yeah. Want to get through this. This is the Naked Skin Urban by Urban Decay. One and done. Hybrid complexion. I want to use this during the spring and summer. I really do enjoy this. It does have a pump. And I am in the shade medium deep. Medium dark. Sorry. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Creaseless Concealer. And... I want to start using bases a little bit better more because my eyes get so oily but I'm almost done with this this is the foundation primer by Mary Kay it is a like a primer gel and it's pretty good it's a mineral mineral primer I want to get through this y'all know I love this y'all see how much I'm on that that's the uh, Josie Marin um, this is the Argon Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. I really do enjoy, enjoy that. This I want to try. I have not even opened this up. This is the Kim Tai Ofra Wonderless. I've heard that this duels as a good moisturizer and a primer. I have my Maker Forever 
that's a concealer in Y33. I like to have something both rose, like with a pink undertone as well. I'll see what I'm trying to get through. I want to get through this. This is the old packaging. That's how long I've had it. The Nourishing Foundation Primer Anti-Aging Serum by Cover FX. It's skin prep. That's why it's on there. Oh, this is one that I have not shown you guys. I have been using this. So um, I need to come with a review. This is the Jordana Complete Cover Maximum Coverage 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. So that's from Jordana. I only paid like $5 for that. I have my Make uh, Makeup Forever Face and Body. I thought that these, because these are very lightweight and they're waterproof, these would be great to get through. This one's a little bit more red. This one's more yellow so as i tan i could use these these are amazing but i need to get through these because this is the old packaging the water blend actually the water blend actually um are the replacements for these this is the elf mineral concealer that's it that's actually how much that's left if i did it correctly but from holding it like this that's what's left kind of show my progress I love this I'm kind of sad that they're discontinuing I spoke to one of the girls at Tarte and this is the Mark Kuja bronzing serum this is amazing whenever y'all always y'all have said on my channel hey girl you looking amazing and bronze this is the product that I've been using it's just like the maracuja oil but it's a bronzing serum so you put it on and make sure you clean your hands after this. Otherwise, you will have orange hands. But it really bronzes the skin. Hopefully, I can get another one before it runs out. I think they're still on their website. But I need to get a couple of those. This is something that I'm using. This is the Dr. Brandt Dark Circles Away. This is an eye treatment that I am trying. Uh, I have a foundation over here, too. This is the Curva Curva Girl Queen Collection Natural Hue Liquid Makeup, and this is in what's the shade on here? Classic Bronze. Okay, and so I have been the one by my job. The Walgreens by my job was not necessarily they were discontinuing the Iman and the Curva Girl Queen for the women of color because nobody really women of color shop there. So they had the stuff on for $2, $3. It's not discontinued, but they are discontinuing from that store. So I racked up y'all because y'all know I love Foundation Fridays. And so this is the Iman BB Cream. This is in clay medium. So I have CoverGirl Queen stuff that I'm trying and in Iman you're going to see. Uh, this is from <laughs> the CoverGirl Queen collection. Don't worry, I'm going to come and do reviews on these. This is the CC Cream, and this is in the shade Classic Bronze. And I want to use up my Jouer. This is the Luminizing Moisture Tint. I've been mixing this. I love because it has a luminosity in it. I love using this. It has SPF 20. It's oil-free. I'm going to get a new one after this. This is in bronze. I do need to get caramel, though. This is something new that I want to try. This is the Makeup Forever Skin Boost, so I have that in here. Nirvana white when I am walking out of the door and I want to put something on. I have that rollerball there. So this is the Bare Mineral. This is the, one of their lipsticks in the shade Kitty. That's how that looks. It's so pretty. I have some mascaras in here. That's the Lash Accelerator. Y'all know I love that. This is the e.l.f. This is a hydrating under eye primer. This is hand sanitizer. These are some brow pencils I'm trying to get through. These are the Makeup Forever and the Cella. I'm still not through this Cella. And it's because I would have been through it a lot quicker, but it doesn't have a spoolie. Lord, that like annoys me, but I want to get through that. Cover of X, this is their primer slash like SPF that I could put on. So I want to use that during the summer. Oh, this is a Tarte in Namaste. The Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint. Enhancer, that's really good. Really get through Luminoso. But I want to pull one more blush in here. I have my Laneige. One second, put these here. I have my Laneige foundation cushion. This has SPF 50 in it, so that's what makes this really good. 
and I've done a review on this and this is in the shade medium dark that's my luminoso oh this is another one I've hit pan this is pink swoon by Mac so I want to get I want to actually finish this blush so there you go there you have it I am gonna pull a few more things in here I have some eyeliners in here Tarte drugstore cover girl so yeah just putting stuff back um, please subscribe and from this you'll probably see favorites current favorites what I'm trying new um, I am gonna be doing a couple of foundation Fridays and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it I will see you guys in the next video